In this film, we'll have a look at grammatical concord, also known as subject-verb agreement. You should always make sure that the verb is conjugated according to the subject. If we have a singular subject, we need a singular verb. For example, the cat eats mice. If we have a plural subject, we need a plural verb. For example, the cats eat mice. Sometimes you'll find the word and in the subject. Tim and Tom play chess. Tim and Tom are both the subject, so the subject is plural, and therefore the verb must be plural as well. Here's a good rule of thumb. If you can insert they instead of your subject, you need a plural form of the verb. If you can insert it, use a singular form of the verb. This is the easy part, but there are some tricky situations where you might be in doubt. Have a look at these. Some nouns end in s, but are not plural, even though they look plural. Examples could be school subjects such as physics and the noun news. These are singular nouns, so they need a singular verb. Physics is great. News is interesting. We've also got some nouns that are plural, even though they might look singular and do not end in s. Here are a few examples. Mice, feet, teeth, police and people. These words must be followed by a plural verb. The mice are big and fat. And finally, quantities of time, money and distance are considered as singular. Here are a few examples. Two hours feels like forever when you are bored. $10,000 is a lot of money. 42.195 kilometers makes a marathon. Think of it as a single quantity and remember to use a singular verb. Subject-verb agreement is really important to master. If you are in doubt, then you might want to watch this film again or watch one of the other films dealing with subject-verb agreement. And if you are ever in doubt about a noun, you can always look it up in your dictionary.